I'm Michelle Yim. Uh, I'm an actress, producer, and also artistic director of uh, Red Dragon Pie Productions. And um, I've worked with Terra Nova uh, in uh, 2014 in Arrivals and also during the pandemic. It was a, a almost like a two-step project because I remember coming over to Northern Ireland in uh, late one year. Um, that was in two thousand and fourteen, and um, we engaged in a in a workshop first, where we worked with um, five writers from Northern Ireland, and. Um, what they will produce will depend on the on the community engagement, and so the community was also invited, as well as four cast members, um, and that included a Northern Ireland uh, Northern Irish actor, an Indian actor, a uh, Romanian actress, and myself, uh, a Chinese actress. So it was a, a truly intercultural kind of experience. Um, we. We did a we did various uh, workshops and games in this first workshopping of arrivals. Um, one of it was bringing an object that meant something to you, um, and we we shared this object um, throughout the whole whole group. We touched it, we feel it, and we we all came up with with an idea of what it might be or what the story behind it might be. So when we came back in the new year five pieces were written and I was very lucky to be in in all of them to be honest there was a lot of lines to learn uh, but then there were some which I didn't have any lines it was just speaking in my own language um, there was this particular piece by uh, Shannon a sickle and uh, she wrote uh, a piece about this Romanian model who had come over and she she lost her way of trying to find Oh, where to, to meet up with her, uh, her agent or producer or manager to take her to this shoot. And she, she said she was following the sat-nav and she came up to a, to a road where there was a wall and this wall was not on, the, on, on her sat-nav. Um, so she, she kind of got lost and then she met a, a, a Chinese woman who was also trying to find her way but had no idea how to communicate with her. It was a language. Um, so that was kind of one of the piece of kind of kind of illustrating how foreigners came over and not understanding the culture. It did kind of, I think, encourage understanding the step to start understanding each other that we because we come from different cultures that we, we sometimes we put up a a barrier in front of us and think you don't understand us because we've had this whole history we all come from some different history and we all think this is the only kind of experience that we can experience but actually there are people probably across the sea who had experienced very similar things and all it takes is just start talking and understanding so yeah i think they were all fun to be honest um i i remember clearly that i had a lot of lines to learn in the in, in in the piece written by oh was it by Paul or John I can't remember uh, the the one about the intercultural marriage. So I play uh, a mother who uh, a Chinese Chinese woman who was married to an Indian man, and I have a son who's obviously mixed. And I had a very very long monologue. I've just long pieces where I, I kind of talk to myself. So, um, and I think I was worried about the lines. I was worried about it. There was so much to learn. 
and there was so much of the culture that I don't understand. Actually, this was, this was kind of pushing it. It wasn't only to understand Northern Irish culture, but also Indian culture, because I had married an Indian um, man as the character. Um, I could say that was probably a, a, the most challenging, but then I think all challenges are fun. And the whole project itself was fun. It, there wasn't a specific piece that was fun. It was the whole experience of it and touring it around Northern Ireland was fun. Getting to know people was fun. The workshops were fun. Everything was a new experience. And that's what the beauty of Terra Nova was, was to kind of bring people together from all over the place to Northern Ireland. Um, I was at a bit of a crossroad when I met Andrea and um, her introducing me to Terra Nova really showed me what I could even, you know, even I could do with my career. Um, I went into producing my own shows because I saw the potential of what creating my company could be and Andrea showed me that. I went on to create my own company, Red Dragonfly, Red Dragonfly Productions, and I also toured very similarly to, to what Terra Nova's format was back then. Having that connection with Terra Nova also helped me um, book venues in Northern Ireland. And I brought my first play, The Autumn of Han, um, to uh, Crescent Arts in Belfast. Um, and I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for Andrea and Terra Nova. And she gave me a lot of advice as well on kind of creating my own company. So yeah, for that I am really grateful. Andrea, intercultural and togetherness. <laughs>